Halloween. Halloween is right around the corner, and there's no one better to help us prepare, none other than the one and only Martha Stewart. <laughs> Hello, Martha. How are you? Uh, so nice to see right. you. You like that? I like that. How you been? I have been just great. And, um, and I'm so happy that I'm back here in Chicago on a nice day. Last time it was blizzarding. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this? Isn't it great? It's great. Those are clings. That's a wall cling, that fabulous skeleton. Oh, you mean like a fathead? It is fathead. Yeah, we, we designed those for fathead. Wow, how much money you got? Lots. <laughs> Sorry, lots. I just threw, I thought I was doing the joke. Yeah, like a fathead. <laughs> we own those too. <laughs> so what are we decorating? We're, we're well, decorating funkins? Well, this is a, called a funkin. See, it's an artificial pumpkin uh -huh. that you can use year after year. I, I like real pumpkins too, but these are very nice to do crafts on. Okay. And uh, so we've painted this one a beautiful pink called ballet slippers using our, of course, what does that say? Oh, Martha Stewart, you, you own paints. this too? Yeah. <laughs> Craft paint. But you can paint these funkins, which come in kind of like a, this color, this orangey color. See, they come like that. Yeah, and I guess I just get the black one. Yeah, you got a black one. <laughs> Very nice. How the hell I get gold teeth from, huh? You know what those are? Yeah. Those are, are, those are nails. Oh, like press-ons? Yeah. Those are press on nails. No, I don't, I've never seen that done anywhere. One of my craft people came and said, you know what, I'm gonna do a whole decoration for pumpkins, pumpkins with artificial nails. This a hood pumpkin. <laughs> we gonna call him pumpkin hood. <laughs> All right, so you, what we doing, Martha, okay, come on. Wait, have you decoupaged lately? Huh? Have you decoupaged lately? Yeah, but you, we won't talk about that on TV. <laughs> Me and yes. Marge was decoupaging, decoupaging last so. night. Oh. Well, here, see your little, see this little brush? Yeah, so I got it So take right a little here. decoupage glue right here. All right. And notice what this says on it. What does it say? Martha Stewart's decoupage. <laughs> That's a damn shame. <laughs> I'm gonna give me some Steve Harvey No, no, stuff. don't use that pumpkin. We're doing this pumpkin together. We're gonna, oh, we're going to do the We're going to do this one together. together, yeah. Okay. So put some, put some glue on here. And oh, just, this is, oh, that's what decoupage yes, it is. It's a, oh, it's glue. It's a matte finish glue, a special glue that dries very quickly. And then you put an object in the glue, and then you uh, go over it again with the glue. Ultimately, it will look like this, only it's on ballet slipper. <laughs> and, uh, and then now, now you have to take your brush and very gently apply more glue on top. Oh, okay, Pretty, so we right? decoupage this whole yeah. thing. Yep, then. you can do the whole pumpkin. Watch this here. Funkin. Oh, this is a funkin'. Yeah, this is a funkin'. Jamaica funk is what, do I put any color on here? All colors, yeah. And, okay. and this is a new way to nicely decorate a pumpkin. Oh, by the way, making these little starbursts is very easy. Just take, take all this beautiful um, layers of uh, tissue paper and uh, use the template that's in our magazine or on our website. Yeah, that's time and, consuming. Yes. But, but it's fun, it's fun. See, and like people... if I wasn't on TV, I'd have been through with this. <laughs> <laughs> then you are not a natural crafter. Mm -mm, I'm so not interested in what I'm doing right now. <laughs> that's sad, that, that's very sad. You know why? Because when your little grandchildren come to you and say, Grandpa, what do they call you? Big pimpin'. Big. <laughs> Big Pimpy, would you please help me decoupage? Then, the, then you'll be able to say, oh, I did that with Martha, and it's so easy, and we can go over to the store and get the stuff. That's why and, I'm trying to learn this, because yes. little Rose and Elle. That's, they're the cutest And I just had a I've grandson. Look, I got a little look, grandson. Someone who's not interested, Noah. look how well he's doing. That's pretty I'm funny. laying it out. That's look at that. Nice. Isn't that nice? I think, I think you're a, a natural. Okay, okay, so what's next? I put okay, some. Okay, so I'm that's putting, that one. How about some toenails and fingernails? That's what I do best, come on. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so what do you think? I can finish this one, and yeah. you can do this one from scratch. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna make this one but look see, like look, I want it to. They come, they, you, can use what, you can use these painted nails. Mm -hmm. See, now isn't it nicer to just buy those little nails like that? Yeah, that's them? already done. Yeah, that's already, and you ha but you do have to hot glue on the little pieces of... Um, hot glue. Hot glue and toothpicks. Ain't nobody finna do all that now. Yeah. <laughs> but I would stick them all the way in, because... Yeah, but they don't... 
They're too hard for you? Yeah, they go. I don't want to stick my hand trying to mess with I'll make this pumpkin. Oh, whatever. These are, they go in. Here's a little gentle pressure. There. Like pressure. See how nice, look, isn't he cute with the gold teeth? Oh, you're having a hard time. I'm through with mine. Mine's just going to be snag a tooth. <laughs> I'm going to have it. My feather is cute. Look. See, your funk nice and even. Snaggle tooth is good. Snaggle tooth is good. I, but I, I would like to push these up a little bit more. They're just not nice. You're just not using any strength. You're afraid. Well, see, I don't want to stick my hand with nothing again. And then, like I told you, I wanted my pumpkin to be snagger tooth. I want it. Okay, you one, know, on, one on the bottom? Yeah, I, I wanted my pumpkin to need dental work. Okay. <laughs> this one definitely. I'm, I'm making my pumpkin look like my uncle. Which uncle is that? Here. The one that Here, this he one. just got a baby, tooth this is every baby, now This is a baby pumpkin. There you go. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got some more crafts right after the break. We'll be oh, right wait, back. Oh, we have that. We're going to do that when yeah. we come back. We'll be right back. I'm back with Martha Stewart, and we're preparing a Day of the Dead Halloween party. <laughs> I was just joking with her since she had her own glue. I just picked up these knives and said, these probably your knives, too. She said, at Macy's. <laughs> Martha Stewart at Macy's. Yeah. But aren't these like, cute? They're gorgeous. Yeah, they're cute. So um, these are little dried apples. Look. So you peel the apple uh -huh. with the Martha Stewart apple peeler. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. This is so wonderful. She got everything. You brought it up, but feel that. Doesn't that work really well? It's so nice, smooth. Yeah, it is. And you I'm peeling do... an apple. I'd have been to lost way more apple than this with my yeah. knife. That's right. So after, after you peel. this on my face. But... <laughs> Put the apple in vinegar and lemon juice, OK? Vinegar and lemon juice. Yeah, just a solution in water to keep it from getting all brown. We, we don't want it to get brown until after you carve it. Then you take your little craft knife craft and knife. carve out, you know, eyes. Is this apple? Yeah. Just take pieces of apple out. And you can make them scary. And, but you don't know what's going to happen. Once you, once you carve things out of here, you don't know what it's actually going to look like. A long nose. You have to carve. It's, it's sort of bas relief carving. You know, you have to. You're taking out and leaving some there, and then you put these cutouts on. Oh, a you baking put. The, you make a mouth too. And 90 minutes in a 250 degree oven. For how, what's the temperature? For 250 degrees. So that's not very hot. Yeah, but for 90 minutes and we could have made a pie and by then now. And they come out. <laughs> They come out looking like old shrunken heads, just like this. And you can then insert things like kidney beans. Look how cute the eyes look when you insert a kidney bean in there. Look, makes it more scary. Or a black eyed pea, you see? OK, so put beans. these in here, yep. beans in here. Yep. These are red eyes, because he'd been drinking the night before. <laughs> so he came to work. He gets into it. And my apple a little toe down okay. right now. See, that's, yeah, see that's them apples, good. see they bloodshot? Yeah. He's ripped. That's good. <laughs> so do you want to see what the table should look like? Yeah, let's go. Okay. What do we got? So here's your, here's your scary Halloween table. Oh, wow, I like this. That's so beautiful. Look at all these. So do you, OK, now these Funyuns, you can just buy those at a store. Funkins. Funkins. You buy them at a store. Yep, you buy them and at, you a, decorate them at a craft yourself. store. OK, yep. I got it. Yeah, decorate them. Make cookies to look like Day of the Dead skulls. Look how cute those are. Those are edible. And look, yeah. you put your shrunken heads in to your punch. So it's kind of scary looking. Really? And you can eat them, because they're perfectly edible. Well, what kind of punch these. is this? That, oh, that's delicious. Try it. And after you try it. That's pretty good. What is that? Probably make that too, huh? It's a Halloween punch. Martha Stewart's Halloween Re punch. Reach in here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Close your eyes and reach in there. <laughs> <I'm not sorry>. <laughs> 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 like. 
Martha Stewart, you're one of my favorite guests, Thank darling. You. For more <laughs> ideas and inspiration, pick up a copy of Martha Stewart's Halloween special issue on newsstands now or head to MarthaStewart.com. And guess what? Martha's bought a special Halloween issue for everybody in the audience. We'll be right back.